G'day, Paul and Pauline here on the steps of this lovely little old chapel in a place called Jackson in the outback of Queensland on the, on the road to Roma, the Warrego Highway. And we're reading, continuing our reading through the book of John, uh, chapter 21. This is where Jesus restores Peter. So when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And he said to him, Feed my lambs. And he said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And he said to him, tend my sheep and he said to him a third time Simon son of Jonah do you love me and Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time do you love me oh, here comes somebody just driving into the shot oh the council worker <laughs> So he said to him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wished. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish. This he spoke signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me. So here's Jesus telling Peter that he's going to be glorifying God as he is crucified on a cross. Hallelujah. That's sometimes the journey that we all face on our passing from this earth into eternity. We're going out west to meet a man who's lost his tongue and his lower jaw to cancer. And he asked the Lord to heal him, but the Lord said, No, you're going to glorify me in your sickness. So we're going out to talk to him and to video his story. So you too might be asked to glorify Jesus in a hard time. You know, we're here to glorify God no matter what, whether we're doing well or whether we're not doing so well. So whatever we do, let's do it unto the Lord. Even in suffering, we can glorify God. So that's an interesting lesson from the Word this morning. You get into the Word. And let the Word of God get into you. See you later now. Goodbye. What's this lady doing? What are you up to? I'm doing the water testing. Oh, the water testing. Yes. For what? Yeah. You read the water? Uh, no, I check if the quality of the water. Oh, the quality? Is, yeah. Oh, okay. There's no, no microbes. So, yeah, okay. Normal. Is yeah, that yeah. because of the natural gas around here? or? Oh, uh, no, just for the safety of the people right. just using the water. That's good. Yeah. Well, Where I can... are you from? We're from, uh, We're from Brisbane. Brisbane. Okay. Oh. And we're reading pieces of the Bible for this church. Okay, that's good. So, so. And then we put it on YouTube. Mm, wow. So, so you might be on YouTube. Oh, 